good morning and welcome back to my channel i'm lisa and today i'm going to be working in my creative journal with you i've got my disney mug so that kind of gives you an idea of the theme that we're going to be documenting today I'm going to be working in my road trip journal um, my creative journal but um it's rather full and we have a slight problem it's falling to bits i think i've just really really overfilled it um, the staples are coming out, it's really falling to bits, so we're going to be doing a little um, hospital work on this first, and then I'm going to be scrapbooking these two photos from uh, Magic Kingdom, so we'll have a little bit of Disney chat as well. I've printed off these two on um, 4x6 with white frames around them, so we're going to be using those, and we're also going to be using this month's Lollipop Box Club kit as well, so I really hope that you enjoy today's video. Please do like this video if you enjoy this type of creative video and please do subscribe to my channel if you are new. It is free to subscribe and if you hit the bell notification as well you get notified when the new videos come up. So the first thing I need to do is fix this book. It's well and truly come out. The staples just keep breaking or tearing the paper. Um, I've got my long reach stapler here and that's what I'm going to use. I think this is going to be an ongoing thing to be honest while I'm still creating in it. I don't know what I'd do without this stapler. This is one of those items I just use all the time. Right, so it's back in, but what I'm going to do um, to kind of make it look a bit tidy, and that's exactly what I've done with this other page here I've stuck something all the way over the top so that you haven't got the staples in the middle and hopefully it's not going to tear through then and that's exactly what I'm going to do with this page today I think it will just look a little bit neater um, so I've got some watercolor paper here I haven't decided if I'm going to use watercolor paper but that's what I'm going to use but um, I meant as in I haven't decided if I'm going to be using watercolour paints but I want to use a star template now the DIY for um, this month's lollipop box club kit which I've got here and this is what I'm going to be using on this page today I made just recently using the kit um, this layout here and the DIY this month is creating a little shaker pocket um, I've used the star template here. This is an add-on for the kit, so I'll link up that below. It doesn't come with the kit, but it matches. I sell a few bits and pieces like that. And then sewing up, you create a shaker pocket. Now, I didn't want to do exactly the same on this page, but I am going to create a pocket. I've just Googled star template, and that's what I've just printed off. And I'm going to use this as my template. But as I haven't got my page stuck on, I'm actually going to use the template on here and sew around. Otherwise, usually what would happen, it would be, be quite difficult to sew onto the page. So I figured it was quite a good way of doing that. So that's what I'm going to be doing. And I've got somewhere here, oh, they're over there, my Magic Kingdom photos as well. So inside the paper bag this month you've got a piece of vellum and I'm just going to draw around the star template with a pencil and then I'm going to cut that out. I've cut the watercolour paper to size, I've got my sewing kit and my vellum star. I do need to rub out the lines and then I'm going to start by sewing the star onto the paper. Um, I want to be able to pop things in it so let's pop it to one side and we can leave this piece open this piece will be sewed in and then we've created like a little star pocket I'm going to use my paper piercer to go along the outside like that and then I can sew up the star along the edges so that's my partial star. The other thing you could obviously do, and this might actually look nicer, is sew the star, although sewing through the vellum it is quite fragile, um, and then stick it on just and leave your pocket. So that's another way of doing it. So I've done that, and now I need to pop on some papers. I was going to use some of the frames from the kit. I really love these papers um, this month. They're so nice. Um, so I'm going to cut out a couple of these frames to use on the other side. Right, what I should have done here, because I've got that kind of like big ledge now, 
um, I've needed extra paper I should have allowed a little bit of extra but that's fine I do quite like that but I could always add washi tape as well so I've stuck the page in and I am now cutting out my little frames one and then I was going to pop the photos inside like that and now I'm just going to stick these little frames into the book I think I probably will end up adding watercolors around the outside and then I've got two photos here I've got one of It's a Small World and I've printed these quite small and lengthways so that they would fit in the frames nicely like that and the other that's Filler Magic by the Castle so this page is going to be about Magic Kingdom notepad here from the kit um, and it's for wish lists I do quite like the idea of using this on a page but I think I might actually wait and use it on a 12 by 12 scrapbooking page but I quite like the idea of actually putting wishes or something that we'd like to do or something we wanted to do and then tick off I think that could be quite fun I think I'm going to get the die cuts out next I've also got the stickers here as well uh, oh there's quite a lot here actually um yeah, I think I'll do die cuts next. Here are some of the die cuts here. The idea I had was to pop some of them into the pocket. So I thought that would be really quite cute. So let's pop some of these in here. And then I'm going to add some of the sequins as well. Let's add a star. Inside the treat bag, there's some sequins. So I'm just going to add a pinch. And I think the easiest way is to use something thin to push them in. I was originally thinking about adding journaling, almost like a little tag and popping that. But actually, I'm going to pop, let's make that sure that's straight. This on oh dreams can come true. And then you've got like a little shaker pocket there. Because as a family, we're always dreaming about going back to Disney. So I think that's quite relevant. I was going to use um, one of these. Let's cut this in half, actually. This is also from the die cuts. We could pop this here and that one on that side, I think. I think. Before I add anything else to the edges, though, I'm actually going to add a doodled edge around the outside. I am going to include this little bit of gridded paper, although it's wasn't meant to be there sometimes you can just embrace things when they happen when they don't ex you don't expect them to happen right I've just decided whilst doing this that I am going to do a bordered edge similar to the ones on the frames so I'm going to do that in just a minute so let's add the rough doodled edge and I'm just doing the same with a lilac marker pen just a rough edge and that kind of looks the same as the frames. Now you could obviously add this edge, this border to any type of project. 12 by 12 would look really nice as well. I think I'm gonna add some pink in with that too. I've added the tabs, I cut one in half so I could use it in two separate areas and I've added little stickers from the sticker sheet that comes in the kit and they go on there really nicely. I um, cut out another one of the frames. I think I might add some journaling on here now. One out, and actually, I am going to cut this one and use it like that. I think that will look really nice. I didn't quite have enough space for the whole frame. The other thing I wanted to do was use the stamp set here. You've got three stamp sets in this kit. And which one shall we try? Let's try the heart first. The quality of these stamps is always lovely. It's um, Emily from Skull and Cross Buns. And she makes them exclusively for us. So let's have a few hearts. And now I'm going to start my journaling. Right, I always like to show my mistakes. I do have a bit of a splodge there from where I smudged that ink. I'm going to stick that sticker over the top and I think I'm gonna add this one as well above it. Everyone makes mistakes at the end of the day when you're doing this kind of thing, but you can always cover them up. 
That looks better, doesn't added. it? Added my journaling, how Magic Kingdom is our favourite park and that really has a special feel. And that even though we don't have little ones anymore, we still enjoy the family rides and the fact that we just love being here. And that it's always our first and last park to visit of each trip. Now I'm going to get the watercolours out. This is my watercolour set. I'll link this up below as I do get asked a lot about it. It wasn't overly expensive. In fact, it was a real budget one, but I really like it. And I'm just going to add some watercolours. I think this will blend in really nicely then. Do share this with your scrapbooking friends, please. Anyone that you know that loves creating memory keeping i'd really appreciate it if you share um, these kits are just so good for like i said memory keeping um, if you want to do a little bit of planning as well they're really good if you especially if you like the creative planning side so please do share with your friends let them know let's add a little bit of lilac at the top there and these kits are actually going out in the post at the end of the week so I will link it up for you if you want to go and have a look. And I've also got a code. It had actually expired, but I thought I would continue it um, on for the rest of the week. So I will link that up for you as well, the kit. And the code gives you £3 off. And the code is Happily Ever After, which is the name of this kit. So add some colour around there. I'm not going to colour it completely in. And what I'm going to do, because it's really quite colourful at the moment, I'm going to blot it with the kitchen roll and that will just fade it slightly. There you go. So it's not quite in your face. Oh, I think that looks really pretty. I like adding a little bit of watercolours to my pages sometimes. But yeah, use that code and it's free UK delivery as well and you get loads in this little kit. And with the £3 off, it's just £15. And like I said, that includes delivery as well. There, see what I mean by when you blot it? Actually, and I've got a little bit of paint now on here and that's blotting in quite nicely. Let's go. I'm just using, this is actually just the paintbrush now from the water. I'm just going around just to soften the edges a little bit. I'm going to dry that as well. Anybody else use watercolours on their pages? I've got a little bit on the photo, never mind. I'll tell you what I haven't done, which I usually do. I usually go around the white frames of my photos. I like doing that. This has felt like very therapeutic scrapbooking today. I've really enjoyed doing this. Yeah, I think that's it. Should we go around the star as well, actually? Just very roughly. Anybody else in the middle of doing any Disney memory keeping at the moment? I think it's my favourite thing to scrapbook about. There we go. And I will also link up the chat group below as well, the Lollipop chat group, so you can go and have a look there. Um, lots of fun and inspiration there. So that is my page. Um, it's free, by the way, to join the Lollipop chat group. Anyone is welcome. You don't have to have one of the kits to join in. And that's what I have created today. I really hope that you've enjoyed this video today. Also, if you really enjoy the scrapbooking and creative journaling, that type of thing, I do also have a playlist with loads and loads of different scrapbooking videos, whether it be 12 by 12s and traveler's notebooks. So I will also link that up for you below. By the way, you'd never think now that that was a damaged book, would you? I think that's tidied it up really, really nicely. And don't forget the kit as well. This is what's left of my rather messy kit now. But I'll link up the unboxing and don't forget to use the code happily ever after for £3 off. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. And like I said, please let me know if you are creating anything Disney in your memory keeping books at the moment. I'd love to know. Please share this video. Please subscribe if you are new. And please just stop and say hello as well. It's always lovely to hear from you all. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.